हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लेक्चर थर्टीन इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डिजिटल सिग्नेचर स्टैंडर्ड सो दिस डिजिटल सिग्नेचर स्टैंडर्ड यूजेज सिक्योर हैस अलगोरिदम एंड डिजिटल सिग्नेचर अलगोरिदम और राइट सो लेट पी बी ए प्राइम नंबर एंड द लेंथ ऑफ द प्राइम नंबर विल बी बिटवीन टू रेज टू एल माइनस वन एंड टू रेज टू एल एज यू कैन सी आई एव रिटर्न ओवर हेयर नाउ let q be another prime number such that p minus 1 mod q is equal to 0 uh, guys all these steps which i have written over here we would be using in solving the sum all right so pay attention over here now after these two steps the third step is calculate g which is equal to h raised to p minus 1 divided by q mod p where h lies between 1 and p minus 1 another step says that choose a random integer x such that x lies between 0 to q and x is a private key which we can write it as da equal to x after that calculate y which is equal to g raised to x mod p and here y is considered as public key and we can write it as ea equal to y now choose any random integer k which should lie between 0 to q so this k is considered as secret key all right now to solve this uh, digital signature standard example we would be doing two things signing algorithm and verification of it so signing algorithm says that the formula for signing algorithm is r is equal to g raised to k mod p whole mod q and s which states that k inverse hm a function hm would be given to us in the data itself so k inverse into hm plus x multiplied by r whole mod q this was signing algorithm the verification algorithm is t is equal to hm into s inverse mod q u equal to r into s inverse mod q and v is equal to g raised to t into y raised to u mod p whole mod q so if we find uh, this r and s value using signing algorithm and this t u v value using verification algorithm we would be getting as v equal to r so if we find the values of v and r as equal we would say that the message will be accepted all right so now let us move to the example so now in this example the data given to us is hm equal to 3 p equal to 7 h equal to 2 and k equal to 2 all the other remaining variables we have to find out all right so i taught you uh, some steps uh, before Uh, so the first three steps in this uh, digital signature standard are known as key generation steps. All right. So first of all, we are going to complete those three steps only. So the uh, first step was to select P. So we already have P with us. Now the second step is that select Q uh, such that uh, P minus one mod Q becomes zero. So we have our P here. So Two says rule two says that p minus one mod q should be equal to zero. We have to select our q in such form. So p minus q will be six mod q here will be equal to zero. So we can here clearly say that if we take our q value as three, so I think we would be getting our six mod three equal to zero, right? so we can say that q would be equal to 3 and the basic rule of q is also that it should lie it should lie between 0 to p all right so 3 uh, lies between 0 to 7 all right so we are going correct now the rule 3 is to calculate g so g is equal to h raised to p minus 1 divided by q mod 
p all right so our h value is 2 raised to p minus 1 which is 7 minus 1 6 by 3 mod 7 so 2 square or we can directly write it as 4 mod 7 so our answer here that means our g here would be equal to 4 all right now we have to choose our x in such a way that x lies between 0 to p so any random integer you can take between 0 to p so for this sum let us take x is equal to 5 all right so after this the next step is the one thing i would like to uh, tell you guys is that this x is also known as private key now the fifth step is to calculate y right so y is equal to uh, g raised to x mod p all right y is equal to g raised to x mod p so here our g is 4 x is 5 mod 7 so if you solve this example using calculator you would be getting your answer y is 2 okay now the another step okay sorry before going to another step as as i told you that here x is our private key so here y is our public key y is our public key all right now next point is that we have to choose any random integer k such that k lies between 0 to q and this k is users per message secret number right so here we would be taking our k as 2 i have already taken it before the before solving of the sum as 2 okay now we have reached the phase of solving the signing algorithm so as i told you that signing algorithm had two formulas of r and s so we are going to solve it all right so signing algorithm all right so r is equal to g raised to k mod p whole mod q so it is 4 square mod 7 mod 3 so I think we would be getting our answer as 2 mod 3 so r is equal to 2 now let us move to s so s is equal to k inverse hm plus x multiplied by r whole mod q so first we have to find or sorry we have to put values so 2 inverse 3 plus 10 mod 3 so 2 inverse into 13 mod Three. all right so now we can clearly see that 2 inverse in mod 3 uh, we must get our answer as I mean if we multiply any number I mean if we take any multiplicative inverse of 2 and we multiply it with this number and divide it or modulus it with 3 we should get our answer as 1 all right so if we take here multiplicative inverse of 2 as 
2 itself so 2 into 2 4 4 divided by 3 we would be get modulo 3 we would be getting our answer as 1 if we take multiplicative inverse of 2 as 5 also it would be working because 5 into 2 is 10 and 10 modulus 3 is also 1 so we can use 2 5 it doesn't matter so just for ease we are substituting 2 inverse as 2 so 2 into 13 would be equal to 26 mod 3 so here our s will be equal to 2 all right now let us move to the verification algo verification algorithm all right so verification in verification algorithm i told you that we have to find out t u and v right so first of all the value of t would be hm s inverse mod q so hm we have as 3 s is our 2 so s inverse would be equal to 2 inverse mod 3 right so in the s itself we find out 2 inverse mod 3 as equal to 2 so 2 inverse in mod 3 would be equal to 2 so 3 into 2 or we can directly write it as 6 mod 3 so our our t here would be equal to 0 all right now we have to find out u so formula for u is r into s inverse mod q so let us substitute the values for r we have 2 into 2 inverse mod 3 again in 2 inverse mod 3 we would be having our answer as 2 into 2 mod 3 or we can again directly substitute as 4 mod 3 so our u will be equal to 1 now the final step which is calculating v so v is equal to g raised to t into y raised to u mod p whole mod q all right so let us substitute all these values so it would be equal to our g over here is 4 you can see that and our t over here is 0 so 4 raised to 0 into y value is 2 and u value is 1 mod 7 whole mod 3 right so it is equal to 4 raised to 0 is 1 and 2 raised to 1 mod 7 so it it means that we have over here as 2 mod 7 which we can write it as 2 so remaining term would be 2 mod 3 so our answer v over here is 1 i am so sorry i am so sorry it is 2 sorry it is 2 right 2 mod 3 is 2 now we can see and i also told you in the steps also that if our v and our r value gets equal so the message will be accepted all right thank you